Do you love granola? Well, stay tuned for a delicious recipe that we're going to make together today. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we gather together in the kitchen every week and we create homemade and nourishing recipes. Today, we're going to be making a cinnamon orange hemp granola. Let's begin by taking two cups of old-fashioned gluten-free oats and adding them to a large mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to add in one half of a cup of your favorite whole or chopped up nuts. I'm adding in walnuts, which are rich in omega-3s and antioxidants. Next, I have one half of a cup of hemp hearts, which are rich in protein, healthy fats, and fiber. Three scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder that may support skin firmness, joint elasticity, strong bones, hair, nails, and teeth. And now for some warming spices. Let's add in one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one quarter to one half of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Stir your ingredients together. For our sweetener, I am going to add in one quarter of a cup of agave nectar, but pure maple syrup and honey will work well too. One quarter of a cup of melted and cooled coconut oil. You certainly can substitute this with olive or avocado oil. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and the zest from one large organic orange, which is about one tablespoon worth. Toss everything together until all of the ingredients are well coated. In a parchment lined, rimmed baking sheet or glass casserole dish, add your mixture. Spread it out evenly and then press it down to help the ingredients stick together. In a 350 degree preheated oven, bake for 20 to 25 minutes, stirring halfway through baking. Your granola will be a little bit sticky and that's okay. It will harden as it cools. Now we're ready to add in one quarter of a cup of your favorite dried fruit. I chopped up a few coconut date rolls, but cranberries, apricots, raisins are all also great ideas here. Be sure to allow your granola to cool completely before stirring or breaking it up into pieces. It is taste test time, my favorite part. So a couple of things. You want to make sure that you cool your granola completely before you store it and you can just keep it in your pantry for a good two weeks. It should stay delicious. Um, what else? Some other ingredients that you can play around with are some chocolate chips, coconut chips, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. You can also get really creative with the spices that you use, and that can really change up the flavor of your granola, as well as switching up the different kind of dried fruits that you add in. So, let's give it a taste. I love the orange flavor that's coming through. It's a little bit salty, which I like. If you don't like that much salt, just reduce it down to one quarter of a teaspoon instead of one half of a teaspoon. And you can enjoy this any way you love to enjoy regular granola. This is delicious, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, make healthy choices this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care. Bye-bye.